And on this Monday afternoon, it is time to go on the throttle. It is time to talk racing here on the Q96.5 FM. Uh, even though there's snow outside, there's still uh, racing going on somewhere, even if it's just in Dwayne Hancock's mind right now. Right. Well, that's always, that's always racing. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> Back and forth. All the time. Round yes. and round. You know, yes. Are you winning that race, I guess, is the question that most of us are asking well, right now. Well, if I wake up, I usually am, because that means I didn't lose that night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dwayne, we have a friend with us today, man. He likes to race only. He likes to race on two wheels, not four wheels. That's right. Although, are you guys calling me your friend? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, barely, man, I got yeah. friends in a That's right. Yeah, barely. <laughs> wow. It's, it's barely. It, right. you know, just, you know, just well, you're on thin ice. Okay? Yeah, right, so, no yeah, doubt. You're, you're on probation. I so, am, you know, they shoot at Jim and I a lot, too. Yeah, so you just right. fit right in. <laughs> fit right into this <laughs> show, don't <laughs> That's right. <laughs> As Absolutely. always, do the honors. Uh, who's yes. your guest today? Well, I tell right? you, uh, this guy, he's rode the pro circuit. Now he's doing a lot of promotion, and I, I said, you know, had a decent 2019, but 2020 is looking great, but... Uh, Big show this weekend. Uh, welcome aboard, Jeff Hires from RPM Promotions. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me again. I love coming over here and uh, talking with you guys. You guys are a blast. Well, and uh, man, this weekend, I know you got a lot going on, but uh, we definitely want to plug this weekend. Fort Wayne Memorial Coliseum, the second annual uh, Hoosier Winter Blast. Um, and I tell you what, a blast is a uh, deal. Uh, we had Tyler Perry in here a couple weeks ago. Uh, he does... Uh, main event uh, outlaw series and the I car modifieds yep. and uh, we sat there last year there's nine or ten of us and we was talking about it a couple weeks ago on there I mean it's been a long time since I've been to a country race inside Fort Wayne and I go to the rumble every year love the rumble and all that but we are setting up out of our seats I mean that was some exciting stuff last year <laughs> you, you know it is you know when, when you can have two wheels that close quarters you know with cars obviously you have the roll cage and and that's exciting and you know the speeds are in there i go to the rumble as well and and uh but man there's nothing like some two wheels oh. around that track and handlebar to handlebar you don't know what to expect oh it's pure excitement i mean like we was talking we were sitting there i mean well it was it was like it was like he's a kid in candy star game we're sitting there beating on each other like oh, did you see that you see? Yeah. i mean and so and we've told a lot of our circle track friends that and i know uh it, and like we was just talking before on there, I know uh, your sponsorship deals haven't come through a lot on this deal, so it's all about getting butts in the seats. And man, I tell you, if you guys want to see some excellent racing, even if you're not into motorcycles, I'm telling you, go over there Saturday night because you're gonna be excited. I can tell you that. I, mean, I, I promise you, it's gonna be a wild show. <laughs> if, uh, if if you like racing, and that don't uh, it turn you on or excite you. Better go play golf. <laughs> right. Well, and you know, speaking of that sponsorship, we have to thank Elkhart Indian Motorcycle. They came on board with us again this year, and then uh, Souls Motorsports. Yes. Out of okay. Stryker, Ohio. I got to thank uh, them over there. So yeah, you know, sponsorships are down a little bit for the event, but uh, hey, it's all about getting butts in the seats. That's and, right. And uh, you know, we're still here, and we're going to rock and roll it. Well, and see, it's nice. Uh, Larry came on board. Heck, he's just, we could almost throw yeah. a rock to his place from here. Just about. Really could. He, there's a racer right there. That's he right. Both, man. Yeah, and you know what? Larry is racing over there. Is he? Oh, cool. And, uh, you know, he is, uh, I think he's pretty excited about that. You know, yes. he's, a, he's a racer, and I know they uh, run that uh, flat track race up in, I think it's Montpelier, yep. which, I've, right. which I've raced up there, and they do a great job up there as well. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to having uh, awesome. his wife, Teresa, over there and, and uh, putting on one hell of a show. Good, and it is, and, uh, you know, it's a good thing. And uh, then, you know, that's on the concrete. A lot of people's like, oh, and you just basically put Coke syrup down, Pepsi syrup down, and, man, it was exciting. And, Jim, there's still hope for you because there's a guy about Jim's age. <laughs> yeah, no. He's, no, he's, no, just, no, he's no just a little hope. slimmer than Jim. Well, hey, hey look, I, <laughs> hey, look I, don't know, I don't know how Jim is. I don't like to ask, you know, how old you are. Yeah. Jim, you kind of look like 45. Yeah. You're, you're younger than me. But, yeah. you know, I've added a 60-plus class. Yeah. This year. There you go, Jim. There you added just uh, for you. It's a 60-plus support class. Yeah, right. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Souls Motorsports over there would put you on one of those old flat track bikes. There you go. If Trace and uh, Larry are listening, I, bet you uh, they would. I think they need I to call they in and uh, say, hey, let's put I, them on a flat track bike. 
You know, and we can use yeah. him as a halftime show. We, yeah. I bet you we can get a lot of people. Over oh, there'd that. be a lot of people over there, <laughs> yeah, right. especially the ambulance crew. <laughs> but, yeah. but hey, last that. year I had Santa Claus yeah. on the wheels, and now this year it's Jim on wheels. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that, so, would be, uh, that would last about 13 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the most enjoyable 13 seconds of probably anybody's life on uh, on all the social media. Hey, I'd, look. I'd be on there everywhere sharing. Hey, look. Oh, look at it. Oh, watch this old I've got the best ambulance yeah. service in town. <laughs> That's right. The Boyd uh, uh, Fire Department's going to be there. Yeah, and uh, we yeah. got to thank them, and and uh, so yeah, I think you're in good hands if you do crash. You know, <laughs> there you go. There so. you go. <laughs> I don't think it's an if. I think that's the key. That's the problem. Is it's, it's not. It's, it's just a, when it's going to happen. When, when, right. when you crash is is a better adjective to use Absolutely. with that. One. What yeah. about uh, you? Are you going to race again this year? You know, I'm not. You know, Jim and I talked, and uh, with with all this, uh, you know, I did last year and I crashed. And, I, I know. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, it's just it's it's you know very tiring just leading up to the race. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that, uh, man, I, I have plenty of opportunity to ride or race throughout the uh, uh, summer. And when I'm promoting, I need to concentrate well, on that. And this tells you how fair his promotion crew is. Yeah. If anybody wants to race there, Jeff yeah. is called for a bad start by his own crew. And yeah. He, he wasn't real happy about it. If I remember right, I was leading. Yeah, yeah see, he was leading. <laughs> And, and, uh, they're calling they read, for a they jump start. flagged me and then moved me back to the back and I told him he wasn't getting a paycheck after this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, so uh, hey, you don't you don't put the CEO of RPM Promotions on the back row. And, but hey, I guess you got to be fair. You know, they just had the Jared Meese at his own race in Lima, Ohio, at the half mile a couple years ago, and uh, he actually got penalized for jumping twice, and uh, he was disqualified. He, he didn't even make the main event. So you know. But yeah, so you know they they run a tight ship. I don't care what what your number plate is. Yeah. You're going to the back if you jump, and yeah. and, and unfortunately, he, he he raced right up back through there. He's up to third, and I got knocked off. Yeah, then then he, but that's, that's, then he Dave Tayo out of Michigan. <laughs> Those darn Michigan guys yeah. out there, you know, they don't care. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't yeah. care about the CEO. You know? <laughs> No. He's like, get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm coming through. <laughs> Actually, I was coming through. That's right. Down was. So anyway. But, but yeah, yeah, and um, I know you got quite a few classes uh, running again this weekend well, over there. Well, you know, that's funny you say that because uh, I just added on a three-wheeler class oh, awesome. this year. And uh, we are looking to have quads again, uh, three-wheelers, and I think we have uh, 13 different motorcycle classes. So. Um, you know, they begged me last too. year. Yeah, those quad guys are crazy, and are. I think the three wheeler guys are going to be even more crazier, <laughs> right? And right. Uh, thank God we have tall fences. That's right. Uh, you know, <laughs> that way we don't see any three wheelers going over the fence. <laughs> That's so, right. Yeah. And a guy, the guy called me last week about it. Hey, what do I wear? And I said, wear jeans and a sweatshirt and a helmet. That's all That's you right. need. And some gloves and uh, you know, a pair of uh, boots, and you're good to go. Yeah. So, well, and. Uh, like I said, you got a bunch of different classes, and I can't, I can't remember the guy's name, but this is an older gentleman, and he looked like he was close to Jim in his age, yeah. and he, he crashed hard. Not not soft, because you're on concrete. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. And he ran a Jackie couple, Mitchell. I think so. Taco. Yeah, and he, he came back, and, and you know, he ran a couple classes, and here he comes, and he almost won. I think he yes. got second that he one. He got second yes. after, it's like... Hell, I'd still be sitting there with yeah. ice packs on me because I just hit the concrete at 80 yeah. miles and, per and, hour. And you two guys are sitting on the other side of the console here saying, hey, old guy. <laughs> That's you, right. Hey, you need to race because you know, it'd be a whole lot of fun. It'd be a great promotion. And then Jeff Rex and this old guy yeah. Rex three or four times. So, and oh, by the way, it's on concrete. Okay? Well, so here's the thing, really Jim. Major there, we're both yeah. alive. You still got hope. Yeah. Yeah. So you can yeah. come and race this event, yeah, and uh, you, you're going to be back in the studio on Monday. No, that's right. no yeah. problem. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, sure, anyway. Next I'll question. Look like, I look like one of the Picasso paintings. Man. <laughs> My body parts will be all over, you know, just broken well, up. and you know, I'll be here, but there'll be a body cast. In hey, you might have to be embedded yeah. in there even for the uh, rumble yeah. over there. There you, you go. Know? So yeah, uh, after yeah. the rumble, we can peel you up. There, there you go. go. I'll just you be know. right there. Yeah, just a little little speed bump in the middle. Wouldn't miss any of the action. No, no, right. <laughs> great, what a great idea. That Could you hold a camera while you're doing that? that? Right. Get, get yeah, the that, underneath view? Sure, yeah. let's do that. Perfect. <laughs> I meant it to win it. Heck yeah. Let's just yeah. avoid the wreck and put me there. How's right. that? Why don't I just hold the camera exactly. and uh, take my chances yeah. that way? Hey, let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> Something new. That's right, for sure. But yeah, I mean, you've had some great shows. Uh, 
you, you got some big things cooking for uh, besides the Rumble or the, the deal before the Rumble, this sure. Winter Classic here this weekend. Uh, you got some big things shaping up. Uh, Going to go up to the new, uh, I hear it's an awesome arena. I've never Man, been there yet. It's beautiful up there. Uh, it's amazing. January 4th on dirt. Yes. And Shipshawana, it's Indiana. At, it's at the Michiana Event Center. Yes. And, uh, man, we're excited to be there. You know, I uh, I saw it online, and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to give them a call. And that's all it takes is a phone call. Right. And I went up and met with the great people up there. And, and uh, man, we're excited about this because right. uh, it, they've got 18 inches of prime dirt. Okay. And, you know, I, I ran that uh, meltdown race in Battle Creek, yes. Michigan last year. And we had, like, six inches of dirt, and some of it kind of went through a little bit. And uh, but up here we have, uh, and that turned out great. That was, that was I was there. That, that was, was a great, a great event, event too. Besides some mental meltdowns, that, a couple that, of people. But that made it, that we, made that it made fun made, too. It was like WWF <laughs> on dirt. I, 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 so, uh, Jeff was going to come off the top rope a couple times uh, there. Some yeah, guys. right, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, but you know they have 18 inches of dirt up there, and uh, you know Indiana's been lacking a little bit on on some races, and and. Uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to bringing some flat track racing back to Indiana. I think that um, You know, the Ship Shawana deal starts around one of the Slide and Sideways series. I put together a $50,000 amateur uh, purse for that and a huge banquet at the end of the year. And uh, so we're, yeah. very, we're very excited to uh, uh, bring this back on board. And, you know, Brad Baker's helping me out this year. You know, everybody knows Brad Baker and what he's went through. And, you know, he was at the highest level. And, and uh, you know, Brad got unfortunately paralyzed in an incident at X Games, and so Brad's helping out this year. And and I got to put a shout out to my buddy Kevin Atherton too. You know, Kevin's flying up uh, Thursday. The little wimp was afraid to fly a Legion Airlines. What the? Heck? And uh, <laughs> so now I got to go to Indy and pick him up. It's not like I don't have anything else going. Right, you got anything and, to do? I mean, no, right. Heck? So, uh, but Kevin Atherton, you know, who raced factory Harley Davidson yes. back in the day and was part of the Scott Parker, Jay Springsteen uh, era. Yes. Uh, Kevin is uh, going to be my grand marshal for the Fort Wayne event. For Fort so, Wayne this week? Yeah, so you have to come okay. out and get autographs by Kevin. He's, there you uh, go. You know, Kevin's 48, so it looks like he's 25. I don't know how. He's getting a little right. bit grayer, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you put Kevin on a motorcycle still, and uh, he'll, he'll kick your butt for sure. Yeah. You know, that's... his kid's got talent. So, uh, but yeah, so getting back to the Slide and Sideways series, uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Michigan Event Center, January the 4th on Dirt. And uh, we actually are throwing in a little curveball for everybody. They've actually got a middle partition in that track. And you will go out of the main uh, arena out to three and four and come back in through the other door out into the main arena. Really? So it's kind of like a Las Vegas type right. deal where you kind of go out and then come back in. So uh, it's going it's to be fun. That would be, be awesome. It's going to be a very, very cool deal. And uh, hey, you know what? We look for all those Amish people up there to come out and have some fun as well. The heck yeah. You'll be Amish racing be buggies before you know it up there. Hey, Mr. Any, Hires, anything, hey anything that puts butts in the seats. <laughs> that's right. Hey, <laughs> Amish racing, man, that's what we'll do. That would be cool, too. Absolutely. Jeff Hires, our guest from RPM Promotions. We're talking uh, two-wheel racing today on the throttle. Need to pay some bills here on the queue, and then we'll uh, gonna give away some tickets too yeah. to that uh, Fort Wayne show. So Dwayne's gonna uh, give you an opportunity uh, yeah. to uh, text him and uh, and uh, Facebook him and all those kind of good things when we come back uh, here on the throttle on a Monday afternoon. And we're back here on the throttle. Jeff Hire with uh, RPM Promotions and Dwayne Hancock today uh, talking uh, two wheel racing. With BS promotions this, uh, this weekend. <laughs> of what now? BS promotions. <laughs> I think most people knew that. Only they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have shortened that uh, because you know it takes a little bit of. Well, we're on story. radio on Matt Cox. Yeah. Here, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So we've got some tickets for this uh, this race. We this do. Weekend, Dwayne, how do you want to give these? We away? do. Well, I tell you what, we'll do. We can do it a couple of different ways. Okay, all right. I think uh, after the show, we should put an ad up uh, promoting the event again. Mm -hmm. Okay, all Absolutely. right. And uh, we yeah. will... Uh, Maybe we should do a caller right now. We could. You know, two tickets. Yeah, we can do two right? tickets. Two tickets yeah. on somebody that calls in. Whatever yeah. you, however first, you work it. Yeah, this is your show, baby. <laughs> this ain't my show. Yeah, however you want to do it. I'd say I'm we just bring tickets. I, 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 like, I let Dwayne, I let Dwayne uh, run That's the right. show. This is oh, Dwayne's wow. show, actually. This is Dwayne's show. <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> here pushing You're just the button. A, so whatever, right. whatever yeah. Dwayne wants to do, man, right. Dwayne gets to do. See, see what that free beer will do that you bought me last year? Absolutely. Jeff Hires only, only we won't bump Dwayne, okay? We won't call him for a false start. Whatever he wants to do. Right. Do I need to weigh in the flag of my race. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, let's do that uh, okay. for the first two. Yes. How about anybody listening right now, the first two, 
Uh, we can just have him call my cell phone. That way nobody at the front okay. desk. Uh, 419-553-6746. First caller will get two tickets to Saturday night's event. There you go. Starting right now. Look, your best so friend's we'll calling anybody. you right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's calling you. So. All right. <laughs> we'll see if anybody's listening. Yeah, right. There you go. So if you want to if you want to uh, get two tickets for the race for Saturday That's night, right. give Dwayne a call on his phone or yeah, right you now. 419-553-6746. There you go. And then we so, will, uh, afterwards, we'll put them up on the, on the Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, we'll do and, that. And, we'll uh, see. Maybe we'll give page. two away if we get any callers. So yeah. Maybe nobody's listening to that. Yeah, you can call, if you want to call the radio station, too, you can do that. It's 419-636-3175. That's 419-636-3175. Either one of those would work uh, right now for a couple of tickets. Yes, two tickets. Races and what, there, exactly. so what is it, $25 getting the Yes. Yeah. $25. Yep, $50 dollars worth of tickets. There That's you right. Go. And I'm telling you, it's a great race. So, oh, here, here we go. go. We got a lucky winner. All right. Hello, sir. Sir, oh my gosh. Anybody well, call him on his phone? W- would you like two tickets him. to the motorcycle race? It's his cousin. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, you're the lucky winner. <laughs> there you go. Heck yeah. And you just got to tell <laughs> eight people now. Yeah, yeah. you just got to tell and eight bring people. bring them with you. <laughs> All right, I will have your tickets for you. Yep, thank you. Bye. Very good. Yes. So there's two. I, 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 he's probably on lunch break. Oh. Well, look. All right, let's do one more. Yeah, let's do one, one more. Let's do one more. Sure, go ahead. Hello. You can't yeah. Hear, so Are you interested we'll, in two we'll tickets? Make it up here. Dwayne, we need those two tickets. We All need right. Them right now. What's yeah. the name? Mike Young. There you go. All right. Uh, where are you from, Mike? Stryker, Ohio. All right. Oh, all right. Cool. Well, we'll have some tickets. Do uh, you want to pick them up at the radio station, or well, how would you like at to get them? At the Napa them? store. Or at right, the Napa right, store one. in town. Yeah, okay. I will have them at Napa this afternoon, and we'll have them there for you. Tell right. eight people. He's got to tell eight yep, people. Yep, you got to tell eight come. people to come, too. <laughs> All right, cool deal. Uh, yep, thank you. And, he, and the voice on the other side was saying, no problem, Dwayne. I'll be really nice right. eight so, people. Maybe it doesn't. Right. I've got a big old so, Suburban, and, you know, I, I'm going to so bring So Mike Young in. from Stryker and Steve Warner from Brian are there you our go. winners. All right, so, good news. And we'll give away four on Facebook because we want to put some ads out there yet, too. Cause yeah, absolutely. we got to get people there. and um, uh, But, yeah, like I said, it's good. And what, what times, uh, I know... Uh, you said, uh, I know Shipshawana starts as more of an afternoon deal. That's well, doors fun. open in Shipshawana at uh, noon on January the 4th mm-hmm. and uh, for spectators. And, um, of course, they will have a, have a full service of beer there so you can sit back and what? drink some beer and watch yeah. some racing up there as well. And uh, But, no, at the Fort Wayne deal, yes. uh, doors open at 1 p.m. Practice is going to kick off at uh, 2 o'clock. And then uh, heat races will start at 5 like they did last year. And then okay. uh, main events probably right around 7.30. Yes. You know, it doesn't take too long to get around that short track. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we don't have any major accidents or anything. And, and uh, you know, we can uh, move on with the program. Well, and that's uh, one thing about being a promoter, which I think uh, last year, like I said, the Fort Wayne event went probably as smooth as the event could, I would say. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I, know, mean, I, I think, uh, and, you know, and, and especially only having 40 days to prepare for that right. event, you know, so uh, then things the, were very smooth. And the Battle Creek one was great, but it didn't go as smooth as, as well, it could. You, know, you, you, always, <laughs> you always have one bad apple in the bunch. He's probably listening. I told him to call and listen. We've, there you go. We've made amends a little bit, but uh, he knows he's on probation with me. It, so uh, It was fun. Yeah, it, was but fun. it was fun, you know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, like you said, it was kind of, kind of a cool deal i guess oh, because what? people thought man this is like wwe oh, yeah. stuff i'll tell you what, it sold tickets for sure it was yes, good Every, yeah. it got the crowds it was fun the crowd right. was all now it was a good time. now we couldn't do that on the big mile tracks or half no. mile tracks <laughs> no. you know and, and speaking of that let me jump right into yes. that decoin uh, do amateur it. mile slash pro mile april the 25th in decoin indiana or i'm sorry decoin illinois at the decoin state fairgrounds and uh, we're looking very, very forward to that event. You know, bringing back a mile race for these amateurs. 
Um, you know, a lot of them have never raced a mile. Especially at DeCoin. Especially I mean, at DeCoin. There's a lot of history. A lot there. of history there, as you as you all know, with all yes. the, the cars and everything. And, and uh, so, you know, b being able to bring, you know, when I was, uh, before I turned pro, I, I got um, the chance to run a mile. And um, not really run a mile, you know, <laughs> race a mile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's too much work. You know? That's right. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it was good because it gave me some experience with the drafting and everything. You know, 130, 140 mile an hour, yeah. that's very important. And um, I think what's going on, there's been a lot of accidents the last few years in the pro ranks. And uh, me personally, I think it's a lot of uh, kids that haven't been that experienced yes. on certain miles, and uh, or any mile for that fact. And yep. So being able to come back, and uh, Brad Baker helped me out with that, and uh, a lot of great people were putting a great team together for that event. And uh, it gives these kids experience. Now, yes. we're not going to run anything below a 250cc uh, mm -hmm. motorcycle, uh, you know, be 12 and up, okay. uh, ages 12 and up, uh, starting in the 250cc and up. And, uh, um, you know, I think, um, I, I think it'll be very, very good for the sport. And that's what we're looking to do. You know, my series this year, we have um, a mile on the schedule. We have half miles on the schedule. We have short tracks on the schedule. And we have a TT on the schedule. So that's a pretty... Big series, yeah. 10 oh. race series, $50,000 amateur purse, points paying, and a huge banquet at the end of the year. And if everybody, or if anybody knows me, they know that banquet's going to be a blast. Yeah, I'm going to say, just uh, <laughs> hanging out with you the little bit that I have and uh, hearing some of the stories, I have a feeling the uh, banquet's going to be as epic as the racing. I might bring <laughs> Kevin Atherton back. There tonight. you go. Yeah, yeah we'll that's, have a little fun good. up there. So, it it uh, kind of reminds, uh, kind of, you know, that's why we get along. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was my, my first first year run the series, and uh, I made a opened up my mouth early in the season to one of my 305 teams. Like, well, if they, re when they win the series, they're like, well, last year we didn't have any beer at the banquet. I said, mm. well, if you guys win, I'll buy a keg. Yeah. Well, they won. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then it turned into two kegs. Yeah. Well, yeah. after our 410 banquet, the 305 guys decided that a keg would be too bit dangerous. Yes. <laughs> so they're like, just bring a cooler of beer. So I brought three. I brought a cooler with three cases of beer. Okay. Nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, the draft beer gives me a headache. That was it. pretty. Uh, well, that was pretty dangerous too. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but usually, yeah. Usually, usually we have a little Crown Royal yeah. at our at well, our uh, bank. Trust right. me, yeah. we had some Jack Daniels. And we had some Baker. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, but uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, and, series, and they all had a, just for confirmation. Yeah. They all had designated. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I, I actually yeah, did. I got I got well, sidelined. You know, the good thing is nowadays you have Uber, right? Yeah, that's right. Or you have a designated driver because yeah. we don't want anybody right. out there driving drunk. Or in Dwayne's so. case, they just put him in the trunk of the car and they take him home. And that's drop pretty him much what happened. Right. The porch. <laughs> then you see yeah. Dwayne three days later. Yeah, that's right. Like, there you, you know, go. That's right. But, but, but uh, get yeah. back to that series. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ten races, fifty thousand dollars. That's huge money for ten. Races. It is. You know, we're we're looking at um, five thousand um, dollars per per event yep. and paying back in uh, I believe five five classes. And uh, you know the rest will be trophy classes, and and uh, I don't I don't have that in front of me, but you know I think um, the 50 plus lightweight vintage, heavyweight vintage, open amateur, you know. So technically, you know, when I raced, you know, I didn't make any money until I was pro. Right. And uh, you know, so honestly, it's a pretty good deal that I'm oh, even yeah. coming up with this for for some amateur guys yes. that uh, to make a little money, you know, and, and kick back towards their gas or whatever whatever it cost you know? well yeah and, and for anybody that's listening that wants to check this out rpm promotions facebook page um it's got all the information mm -hmm. if you're uh talking about the dates because uh, uh like i yeah. said that's april 25th yeah. and the coin mile has huge history of yes. motorcycle racing car racing yes. i mean everything i mean that's that's huge land then in uh July, July, you got a huge race up there too. So actually, July the 18th, which is my birthday. Whoa! And uh, I have worked out a huge deal with the Decoin State Fairgrounds, and uh, we are coming up with a fifty thousand dollar pro um, event wow. that we are having. Also, so we're going to go back to old school a little bit. Um, it's going to be an all pro twins class. Okay. So there'll be no production twins, none of this crazy stuff. All pro. Uh, open Pro Twins class. We will have an Open 450 Singles class. Wow! And then what I'm doing is because fans want to see these upcoming races oh, yeah. too, right? Without doubt. So the top 18 fastest kids, framers only. Okay, no DTX, no motocross stuff. Framers only. Top 18 kids out of that amateur event in April. 
they will be invited to the uh, Pro Mile okay. to put on a great show for the wow. fans as well. And, and uh, you know, we're looking very forward to that event. You know, i got to thank the Coin State Fairgrounds on that deal. Uh, you know, Josh down there, him and I, I mean, it's like we've known each other forever. And, uh, you know, we, um, I'll be going down there here, I'm sure, within the next couple weeks. Uh, after the first of the year, and we will be be doing a press conference on this deal, awesome. and uh, we will be uh, getting it out there uh, on press releases and everything. So I've actually already had people, and I just put a little teaser out there on Facebook, and and I've already had people call me out of Missouri for this event. Oh yeah, and um, you know I I do know that it's like seven thousand dollars to win that. Uh, Pro Twins class, that's and huge. so that's a thirty-five thousand dollars purse yeah, just for the Pro huge. Twins. And then uh, we are uh, 7500 for the uh, pro singles, and then 2500 for the um, 450 uh, frame or amateur guys. Wow. So a grand total like 50000 bucks, And then um, the uh, $5,000, we're going to do a dash for cash. And so the top six fastest guys in that uh, open pro twins, um, I think the winner of that gets 2500 bucks, paying back top three in that. So... It all equals fifty thousand bucks, and should have uh, some uh, heavy excellent, hitters. yeah, excellent talent there. Well, you know, with what's going on with the AFT this year, um, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty with that series going on, and uh, you know, I'm just a promoter, the ex racer that uh, I kind of know um, what some of these racers, uh, you know, like, yeah. and uh, the fans, and you know, the really cool thing about that is with the fans, I've done something different. You know, usually you take your family, it's $40 a ticket to an AFT race, right? Yeah. Well, what yeah. I am doing down there, and, and I got with many people on this, and they think it's one hell of an idea, we are doing tickets for that pro event, $30 a ticket for adults, kids 17 and under are free. Wow. So that's huge. Yeah. Because if you have a family of four, yes. five or six, right, you have two adults, you know, and, and then, you know, you're yeah. spending... $200 just in tickets, right. now you can bring the family out. We want to get kids, exactly. especially in, in uh, this day of age, we want to get kids off of their uh, cell phones and computers, and yeah. we want to bring them back to the flat track racing industry. You know what better way to come out? And, uh, oh, yeah. and I'll go out and I'll talk to the high schools there and the middle yeah. schools and even the grade schools while I'm down there. Heck yeah. And uh, say, hey, you know what? Come out, check this thing out. It's yeah. a family-friendly event. And uh, you guys are getting in free. It doesn't yeah. cost mom and dad anything for exactly. you guys. Maybe uh, some, you know. Then they can afford the vendor stuff, oh, shirts, yeah. t-shirts. Uh, exactly. Um, you know, uh, so I think it's a great deal. And, uh, well, it is. And I'm not going to mention the name, but I got a call uh, from uh, a pretty uh, prominent uh, racer, pro racer. And uh, he's like, man, uh, you sure you got, you know, that covered, you know, 50000 with $30 a ticket? And I said... Let me handle it. You, know, you just show up and race. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll handle all the uh, mathematics behind right. the scenes. So, just grab uh, those handlebars and go. And, just, and you go out and try to win that money. You know. That's so right. uh, so we're looking forward to that. That's a big event for us on July the 18th down at the Dequoin State Fairgrounds. Yeah, and that's a huge land, I think. And when I seen that, I was like, man, how did he pull that off? I mean, it's, uh, it's all about a phone call. Yep. And it's all about uh, um, making uh, good relationships with people. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I got my haters out there, you know, oh my gosh, you know, this and that. But you know what? Like another pro racer said, who's a really good friend of mine, he said, you must be doing something right because they're talking about you. That's right. That's the important that's, part. That's, that's the important part. part. That's right, for sure. 20 minutes before 1 o'clock, step away to pay some bills. When we come back, we'll look around and see what else is going on in the racing world. And we'll finish up with our buddy Jeff Hires today with RPM uh, Motorsports. Performance. Promotions. RPM promotions. promotions. Right. Hey, take your, move that jacket around. There, there you go. Yeah, there you go. RPM promotions. Hey, I've been, how many times have I been in here, Jim? Uh, Jim's losing he's it. He's a Browns there's, fan. There's, there's, only, there's only one. I'm a Steelers fan. We got beat last There's week. only a one one living breed self, Jeff. So it, I don't remember the guy sitting next to you, his name. <laughs> Perfect. You're coming out racing next weekend. See Jim. <laughs> 1243 on the queue. Final segment today on the throttle with Dwayne Hancock and uh, Jeff Hires with RPM Promotions and uh, talking motorcycle racing. But let's get off the motorcycle track for just a second, uh, Dwayne. What else is going on that uh, racers should be aware of right now? Well, um, a ton of stuff came out of uh, the PRI show uh, last weekend. All kind of changes. Uh, a couple things we would touch on. Uh, 
Um, one of our guests from this summer that we've had and followed a lot from California, Buddy Colfoyd, mm -hmm. landed a huge uh, deal with uh, Keith Koontz Motorsports with Mobile One and the Toyota Development Team. This oh, is wow. the same team that Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, uh, Rico Abreu's been a part of. Um, this is the same deal. He's, uh, uh, you know, same team as uh, they came up through. Well, Buddy uh, just hit the fast lane, didn't he? So, uh, yeah, I actually talked to him uh, at our banquet, and then uh, I didn't get to talk to him when he was in Indy this weekend. But, uh, yeah, uh, huge land for Buddy, which we all knew watching him this year that uh, he's he's – that guy that uh, should be the next guy coming up through that deal. So he landed at and uh, a little closer, uh, Angola, Indiana, Zeb Wise, that was racing for Clausen mm -hmm. Marshall, won the big Indianapolis uh, midget race. Uh, switching gears, he is going wing sprint car racing with Tony Stewart's All Star Circuit of Champions with uh, McGee Motorsports out of Indiana. Um, wow. Strapping the wing on, said he wanted to, he filled in towards the end of the year after Dale Blaney uh, left the ride. He, Filled in a few spots, uh, was up front, one of the fastest cars at Charlotte with almost uh, 50, 60 cars there with the Outlaws and that, and uh, had some good runs, and so uh, they're going to go for Rookie of the Year for the All-Star, so that's a couple big things. And uh, race-wise, uh, this weekend, uh, definitely uh, over to Fort Wayne, then the Rumbles the next weekend, and uh, I will be, uh, unfortunately, not at the motorcycle race. I will be in St. Louis to uh, another huge uh, racing event indoors this weekend, the Gateway Dirt Nationals, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with uh, midgets on dirt. Uh, Thanks a lot, Dwayne. Nah, yeah. I know. Yeah, exactly. Late models and modifieds. <laughs> but, see, it, you can still go You can go to St. Louis Tuesday or Thursday and Friday, then uh, hit Fort Wayne on your way back home um, and yeah. not go to Saturday, so you're coming Saturday. back Saturday, right? See, <laughs> that's what you just said. Yeah. Thursday, <laughs> Friday. Yeah. Man. See, you could. Right. He, said, he said you could do that. Yeah, yeah you but, could do that. But I highly <laughs> recommend. Uh, you know, Fort Wayne is good. Like I said last year, it was good. And I, uh, as we talked uh, about this series uh, mm -hmm. that you got, there's probably some of those riders going to be right over to Fort Wayne this weekend. Maybe a few of them. No, are. yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. we, we, we have some pros coming in for the, you know, last year we had Jared Vanderkoy. I haven't, yes. I haven't heard anything. Uh, you know, he should be back home. I know he does a lot of training down in Florida and uh, he should be back home for the holidays. So I'm hoping Jared comes back to defend his deal. I don't know what he has worked out with Harley Davidson. I don't know if he's allowed to do that. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's changed in the contract a little bit. But uh, we're looking uh, forward to seeing if he'll show up or not. But uh, we have some other pros coming in that uh, should be uh, should be a great event. Like I said, three wheelers, quads, motorcycle racing. What more can you ask three, for? Oh, the quads were just phenomenal, crazy last year, and I can't yeah. imagine the three wheelers. That's gonna that's gonna be in her. Oh man, uh, you know, like I said, they they begged me last year, and it was just you know we didn't have enough time and. So they reached back out to me this year, and uh, man, they're they're uh, they're all they're all about that. So, like I said, we can't thank Elkhart Indian Motorcycle enough out of Elkhart, Indiana, in their second year uh, for this uh, second annual Hoosier Winter Blast, and then Souls Motorsports out of Striker, Ohio, which is right around the corner. That's right. Larry and Trace over there, you know, uh, great shop over there, great people, and uh, we look forward to having them over there. And Larry's racing, so uh, ought to be good. And then you know what? That's Maybe right. I'll put him on the background, see how it feels. There you, you go. Know? Well, hey, all of our local people that's listening, I know we're streaming all over the United States too. But uh, if you want to see, we hear about him. He does a lot of ads on radio. He's been on our show. Uh, if you want to see Larry Soul's race, now yeah. so go yeah. over there. Well, and you know they are setting up a, um, I believe a ten by ten area over there as a vendor, and Heck they yeah. sell these little uh, flat track. Uh, yes. Uh, I think they're. I don't even know what size they are. I don't even want to speculate. Maybe two hundred cc, one seventy five, yeah. or something like that. And uh, they're pretty cool uh, little yeah. re replicas of. Uh, um, what you uh, what you know what the big guys race so uh, it is. very cool deal so get over to Souls Motorsports and go check that out. But yeah, so he, huge huge events coming up and uh, tell you I recommend it the four wheeler. See that's why I bike to race and there's one of those four wheelers. Well, that's because you're a four wheel yeah. guy. That's right. Yeah. I want to see you but and Jim on two next wheels. Year. There we go. Next year. That, that's what we could do. You know what? We could yeah. do a head to head. That's right. On Souls Motorsports. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Two bikes, yeah. right? Yeah. And you guys go head to head. We could do that. 
I say that'd be fun. That's right. <laughs> you know, I can find you a helmet, yeah, some you uh, motocross gear, yeah. whatever. I think we could do that. Yeah. Why not? Sure. I think that's that right. I think Maybe, that'd be a big deal. Or if you were only gonna be in town this year. If, well, we can do it next year. year. We can I mean, since you're going to be in St. Louis this year, I, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to, but uh, so, that's the only thing holding me back. So, right so yeah, look, yeah, you, back. you know what I think would be cool, okay? You tell me, you're a four-wheel guy. Okay. Wouldn't it be kind of cool to incorporate some of this motorcycle racing in with that uh, uh, rumble deal? Oh, it would be. And uh, maybe the pro class, uh, yeah. whoever makes that main event uh, um, in the future, you know, we can't really do anything this year, but maybe for the 2020 season. Maybe whoever out of my my show, the top fastest guys in the main event, the pro guys, they jump in and we do uh, something little for that right. uh, rumble deal, yeah. and then uh, you know some motorcycles. Yeah. I think that would be cool. Oh yeah, so that would be. You need that'd to talk to Larry. I'll see Larry on Thursday when he's setting up, and uh, that's right. You know, I think uh, I think that'd be a great deal. Uh, oh, I think so too. I know uh, one year when I was at Indy to the Supercross mm -hmm. indoors. Uh, Damien Gardner had just won the Chili Bowl and he's midget and during the Supercross they had a little area they pushed him off and he was out there spinning around some circles at the Supercross and everybody you hey, know you, you just <laughs> you cross promote like that and right. it, like I said it brings a lot of attention from both both uh, people and uh, well you probably know Tony Stewart right you know, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Good buddies. Uh, I mean, okay. he, he's yeah. probably going to St. Louis with Tony this right. time. Right, no doubt. So, <laughs> so you know, what I this. think is maybe we get, get Tony, Tony at my in. event yeah, and put go. him on, uh, you know, put him in a helmet and some leather. <laughs> yeah. Let yeah. Tony run around the, uh, yeah. or run, run around the racetrack on two wheels. He might. Uh, you know, maybe or if RPM Promotions like guy gets in a four-wheel car there you during go. the Rumble uh, there you and go. let him uh, right? do some racing, you know. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with two wheels. I think four wheels, that'd be fun and... That'd be interesting. Safer. It would be. So you know some people out there. Right. Right now, let's call it out. Anybody <laughs> wants me in that rumble this year, I'm willing to do it. There you go. <laughs> that, that would be that would be good. All That's right, man. Way. It's this weekend. It's at Fort Wayne. Give me the times again, uh, Jeff. Doors open at 1 p.m. for spectators. Okay. And uh, he, or I'm sorry, practice starts at 2. Heat races at 5 o'clock and main events uh, at 7 o'clock. So we encourage people to get out there at uh, 1 o'clock. And then, hey, after the race, come down and meet all your favorite racers. Get your autograph signed. And uh, like I said, Kevin Atherton, Factory, X Factory, Harley Davidson yeah. star. Kevin's going to be the Grand Marshal, and he's flying in. And i and, uh, got to pick him up Thursday. And, and man, Kevin's a riot. And uh, any cool person you want to meet, Kevin Atherton's like a Tony Stewart of racing. And, and uh, just just a great dude. And uh, he's, he's all about interacting with the fans and, and having a lot of fun. Well, I heard they sell beer there, too. Not just at Shipshawana. They sell beer. Oh, yeah. It's a too. lot of beer yeah. in Fort Wayne. So <laughs> come out, drink responsibly, <laughs> yes, and uh, come out and enjoy the show. And, and uh, like I said, we really encourage people to come yes. out this Saturday at 1 o'clock, second annual Hoosier Winter Blast, sponsored by Elkhart Indian Motorcycle and Souls Motorsports out of Striker, Ohio. If you got a Christmas party Saturday, either go early, go late, move it to Sunday. Yeah. Get to, and Yay. then if you happen to miss this one or what Jeff wants, which I, I agree too, you got this one this weekend, and then don't forget uh, another one close to us, January 4th, up to Shipshawana. Shipshawana, that's that Thanks. indoor dirt yes. deal, and I was telling you about that uh, yeah. with this partition going on. Uh, they're going to leave the stadium and then yeah. come back. Well, it's like the Supercross of Anaheim. That's it one is. big thing forever at Anaheim. Yes. They always talk about Anaheim 1. They go out, come, and you can see it, and it's got that feel for it. So anybody it that's watched Supercross, that's watched Anaheim, yes. know it, Jeff's doing the same type of thing with uh, flat track. So... Uh, Yes. That just made it all the more interesting. I didn't even know it, and I was already planning on going. But that yeah, no, it's going to it's gonna be cool, and, you know, that was the first thing that came I know Shady, mind. he's going, too. And oh, yeah. There you go. Well, we even talked about Jim maybe even going up to Ship Show on Well, that. Jim, yeah, you know, we could put him on a motorcycle, yeah, and the right. dirt's a little bit easier to well, fall on, you know. So <laughs> dirt would be a better. Yeah, see, Jim, you're, you're in. Yeah. If you talk with some of the Amish, we could get Jim doing the Amish bag. I, I could get in the buggy race. Hey, well, you know what? Wait a second. Wait, wait. Let's back up a minute, Jim. We talked about you two doing a head There we go. Yeah. Could do a head so head you could do a head-to-head -head deal Buggy on Souls Motorsports yeah. motorcycles yeah. There we go. up there at yeah. the uh, ship show on the floor on dirt. <laughs> so we'll talk a little more on Us Wheeler fans stick together. Let's right. see if the Browns can bring anything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we're allowed to bring a helmet with <laughs> 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 Who are the 
the Browns. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you know what? Even better yet, you wear a Steelers helmet. He wears there you a Browns helmet. There you go. And yeah. uh, you there know, you I'm pretty sure the Steelers will win. And, I, and rip the helmet off his head and hit him with it. <laughs> yeah. Before, before the race wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Your guy did do that. <laughs> How's that working out? For you, by the way? Not very well, is it? Not real well. You guys are six and seven, if I remember right. <laughs> And he's suspended. Yeah. <laughs> With that, we wrap things up. If you need more information, RPM uh, promotions. Promotions. Is there, is it, promotions. Now, do you have a website? Is there a website to go to? Yeah, you can go to www.rpmpromotionsllc.com. Check out any information there. And then, obviously, the RPM Promotions LLC Facebook page. Yes. And we'll have that up on our On the Throttle uh, Facebook page, and we'll have some more tickets. Yep, we'll give $50 away. $50 worth of tickets. Yes. Yes. We'll have some more. We're giving away. Four more tickets go up yes. on the On the Throttle uh, website or go up on their Facebook page or On the Throttle, and you can uh, win those tickets this afternoon as well. With that, that wraps her up. We're almost out of time here for the day. Time for me to close the doors on the dome. Uh, that wraps up On the Throttle. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock right here on the Q96.5 FM.